this is the secret of revivals. There are prayers that birth revival. It's not that thing you are doing. All the revivalists that I read, they have one word that is consistent. Even though they, they talk about prayer, they don't just talk about prayer in any context. You always hear the word travails, 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 bed pangs, travails, bed pangs, groanings, sighs, weepings, cries. So those days I gathered Edward McEndry Bound, kept. Leonard Ravi Hill, kept. Charles G. Finney. There is nothing new. History repeats itself. Revivers are born in the pains of agony. Look for where man agonizes. That's where revival comes. Revival is not an organizing. It is an agonizing. It can't be born without pains. When I read men like Rona Raven Hill, he came and said, Revival tarries because there is scarcity of tears. I said, Lord, bless me with tears. Give me tears so that a, a generation can born with genuine, pure streams of revival. Not something that is a packaging and organized, something that is raw and liquid, moving like a tornado. It can be stopped. Huh? It's like what is testified in the scripture. The Jesus was speaking about himself. He said, I'm a stone, I'm a stone. Anybody that falls on me will be broken. Anybody that I fall upon will be shattered into pieces.